Ahoy hackers! I'm Troy with Hacker Warehouse TV, and today in Toolkit, we're gonna be taking a look at the bus pirate from Dangerous Prototypes and unearthing a treasure trove of debugging tools. Let's check it out. Get me out of this pack. The Bus Pirate is a universal electronic open hardware tool that works as a communicator between your computer and various chipsets and ICs. This tool is a great addition to any hardware hacking toolkit for working with various chips and protocols. Using the Bus Pirate, you can interface with communication buses and program an assortment of chips, such as ABRs from Atmel and PICs from microchip technology. When you order the kit from Hacker Warehouse, you'll get the Bus Pirate, an acrylic case, and all the bits needed to put it together, and 10 jumper wires with probes. For initial setup, you'll want to put the case on your bus pirate. Just remove any protective covers from the acrylic shells. Then put the four long screws to the four holes in the plastic square that does not have a rectangular hole in it. Screw the barrel connectors onto the screws. Place the PCB on top of said screws. And then add the next four barrel connectors. Finally, add the last plastic square on top and screw in the four short screws. To interact with the bus pirate on your computer, you'll need some terminal software that supports serial connections. Now, Mobile Xterm is a terminal software for Windows that works great for serial connections. Windows users will have to download the virtual COM port driver for the FTDI chipset. For Linux and OS X users, the bus pirate appears at slash dev slash TTTY USB and can be interacted with using the screen utility. As you can see, this device is small, but don't be fooled. Just like any good pirate, it has tons of tricks up its sleeve. For starters, the bus pirate is powered by a PIC 24FJ64 processor. Paired with this is a PIC 24FJ64GA002 microcontroller that has I.O. pins sorted in a 2x5 block of 0.1 inch headers. The supplied jumper wires and probes are designed to make it quick and easy to connect our external components. Once you connect to your desired chip, a serial terminal is all that's needed to interface with devices over a variety of hardware protocols such as SPI, OneWire, or JTAG. If the serial protocol falls within a line level of 0 to 5.5 volts, there's a really good chance that the bus pirate's going to support it. The bus pirate's capable of numerous functions such as measuring frequencies between 1 Hz and 40 MHz, adjusting onboard multi-voltage pull-up resistors, sniffing traffic on the bus, and much, much more. You can find a full list of capabilities on our product page at HackerWarehouse.com. The bus pirate from Hacker Warehouse comes preloaded with version 3.6. You'll have instant out-of-the-box functionality with very stable performance. Pre-compiled sources can also be downloaded from the Bus Pirate GitHub. What's a pirate without their trusty animal companion? You can couple this little buccaneer with a J-tagulator to assist in identifying on-chip debug connections. Think of it as a little parrot on your shoulder. Besides that, the Bus Pirate Kit will have everything you need to start hunting for buried treasure amid the seas of information. If you want more documentation to help you with your hardware hacking endeavors, you can find most of the information you're going to need from the Dangerous Prototypes website. Well, that's it for today's toolkit on the versatile hardware hacking tool, the Bus Pirate. Tell us what chips you plan on hacking with the Bus Pirate. As always, leave a comment if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe, share, and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Once again, this is Troy with Hacker Warehouse TV, and until next time, remember, keep it between the laws.